morning with all the activities going on. Jack's over at IUP right now attending the pro day for IUP cornerback Max Redfield. Uh, we've talked with Armin Katayan about Tiger Woods, the, the new Tiger Woods book, and now on the line with us, Michael Ryan, the Altoona Curve manager, Indiana native. It's baseball season. Sure looks like it, doesn't it, Michael? It doesn't feel like it, but it sure is. Uh, <laughs> thanks for having me, Todd. I appreciate it. Uh, it's good to have you back on the air with us as we get set to open the Altoona Curve season. Michael, you look back on this past year and what a whirlwind it must have been for you to take them to the Eastern League Championship and all of a sudden, you're back on the field at People's Natural Gas Field tonight. Yeah, you know, it was, uh, it was a very exciting season last year. Um, you know, you sit back and you reminisce a little bit. What's surprising is how fast the season went, especially that we're kicking off already again tonight. Um, so opening day excitement, it's always a special day. So we're ready to go. Yeah, well, let's talk about your ball club this year. You saw these guys down in Florida. I'm sure you weren't sure who would be yours and who would be going somewhere else. But uh, tell me about the club that, um, as of yesterday, even the roster hadn't even been finalized. What are you going to have on the field tonight? Yeah, we just, to be honest with you, there was a couple of roster moves that still needed to be made. Um, we just finalized it probably, to be honest, 10 minutes ago. <laughs> um there's been some call-ups to Pittsburgh already, so that affects the AAA team. So we we had to had we sent two guys up last night to AAA. So we're all set now. Um, it's a good mixture of guys that are repeating the, the league from last year and some new guys that had success in IA Bradenton. Uh, it, to me, to be honest with you, it all starts with the starting pitching and what you got coming out of the bullpen. Our starters are very good. We have uh, two two guys that were key in the rotation last year. Actually, three guys that uh, that really helped us win the championship that will be back, and then two new additions um, that should fit in right well. You know, of course, Mitch Keller is our ace, uh, probably the number one minor league prospect pitching wise in baseball. So excited to have him, yeah. Brendan Waddell, and and. and and Brew Baker, they have great experience in the league. They 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 pitched in the postseason. They both pitched very well. So to have those guys back, it's we're pretty lucky to to be able to start the season. That's a pretty good got, foundation, yeah. Yeah, it's you know it's 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 good to have some veteran leadership in the rotation. Our bullpen's really really good. I believe we have four guys that can throw up to 100 miles an hour with some good secondary stuff. So. Got some power arms coming out of the pen that maybe will help us protect some leads. So that's all you ask for. And we got some really good young position players. Cole Tucker stands out. He'll be back. He'll be our shortstop. That you know, you call him a veteran because that's the way he acts. But mm-hmm. he's 21 years old, so uh, got a bright future in the game. One of the things, Michael, that we look at when, when we watch the roster for the Altoona Curve, and we know that some of these guys are so talented that they can't last a whole season with the curve. Eventually, these guys have to get up there in the system. Uh, but you have the advantage of having worked with a lot of these guys when, when they were in Bradenton, and you were the manager there. A bunch of them came with you to Altoona for your first season last year. Um, and so when Cole Tucker came up midseason last year, you were very familiar with him, and uh, I'm sure that it was a thrill for you to see that guy walk through the clubhouse doors on that day when, when he became an Altoona Curve member. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, ultimately our job is to get each player to the, to the next level. Uh, we had a tremendous shortstop at the beginning of the season. He was on the cusp of going to the major leagues very soon by the name of Kevin Newman. Um, and then when we sent him to AAA, Cole Tucker walks through the door, and it's like we didn't miss a beat. You know, it's a credit to the system. It's a credit to our scouting. Um, it's, you know, just what he brings to the table, it, it's just invaluable. And, and not to knock Kevin Newman by any means, but, you know, when Tucker came, it, it sort of turned around our season, and, you know, we were thankful that he got there. Well, Tucker and Newman as the as the middle infield, that's that's a pretty solid combination, especially when you consider it's double A ball and you've got those two guys there. Yeah, it was 
you know, to watch them every day and, and to watch how they work together and, and then how they bring it into 7 o'clock and, you know, know where each other's going to be at the field, on the field, and, you know, ne- where they like to double play feed and, and just to watch them honestly compete with one another, uh, it's a lot of fun. Hey, when you go back and you think about your days as a player, and uh, I remember the day that you were drafted by the Twins and uh, following your career through the minor leagues and making it to the majors, and you see these guys today performing. Well, you know, what was that, 95? Was that when you went up? Uh, I got drafted in 96. Yeah. 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 Long time ago. (laughs) (laughs) Baseball players back then against baseball players today. Is there a world of difference? You know, I think so, to be honest with you. Um, just the information that the player nowadays has, you know, baseball, the game of baseball is really turned analytical. I mean, there's a bunch of information that you can get on your opponents. There's a bunch of information that you can get on yourself that will help you make adjustments and, and let you know what you need to get better at quicker. Um, you these players nowadays, I mean, if you look at our Altoona staff, we have, you know, we have a nutritionist that travels with us. We have a strength coach. We have an athletic trainer. We have an analytical department. We have a video department that these guys can watch video. And then you, you know, you have a first base coach, third base coach. You know, back when I played, it was just manager, pitching coach, and hitting coach, and yeah. then the trainer. So, Michael, uh, the stuff that these players get nowadays is just uh, it's such an advantage. Michael Ryan, Altoona Curve manager with us, of course, an Indiana native, and we watched his baseball career and have been watching it for a number of years. Um, as um, you work within this Pittsburgh organization, uh, you just were down in Florida um, for a good portion of uh, spring training, I'm sure. Tell me about what you were seeing uh, from the Pirates organization as a whole and how they were helping you to get prepared for this coming season? Well, I was lucky enough to um, spend the first three weeks of spring training with the Major League team before the minor league camp opened and just to watch how the coaches go about their business and how they prepare. Um, they, what you learn from them was just absolutely invaluable. Gave me some ideas on things to bring to Altoona, but the players that we have in the system, I mean, we got some, Neil Huntington did a tremendous job, and I know that there were some issues with, some, you know, trading McCutcheon and McCutcheon and, and Garrett Cole, two franchise guys, but the players that they got, Moran's was very impressive. Michael Feliz out of the bullpen, just a power arm. We got two minor league guys that will be on our Altoona club as far as corner outfielders that are going to fill in very nicely. So, you know, the minor league system is stocked with unbelievable talent, and it's a young major league team that really enjoy playing with each other and being around each other. And you know, a lot of people might not think so at the time, but as you can see with the start that the Pirates have had, I mean, the future is just so bright. And it, it's, it's almost the same blueprint as the Houston Astros have had in the last couple of years, and look where they were last year. So. When you look at both organizations, it's very similar on what they're trying to do and how they're trying to build, and it should be an exciting time for them. So you get your your first look at your, your ball club as a whole on the field tonight as they take on um, Akron, uh, and it's a seven-game homestand to start it all out, and I know that must be a thrill for you. You'll raise the championship banner. Uh, my big question to you uh, during our remaining time is uh, how many Michael Ryan bobbleheads do you have, and how much are you selling them for? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, they gave me, to be honest with you, that the, the bobblehead night is Saturday, and they just gave me um, a, an extra case of them, so I don't foresee a lot of them get given away. I mean, <laughs> if, you look at, if you look at the bobblehead nights that we're going to have, you know, mine's by far going to be the least. In high demand, I would say, you know, you got McCutcheon and Garrett Cole and, and Pedro Alvarez and guys that have just impacted Altoona way more than I have. So, you know, that's why they got the, they got the worst one out of the way. So 
They're free. <laughs> I'll give, I, I don't know if I'll be able to give them away. Does it look like you? I think it, well, I don't think it looks like me very much. Don't tell anybody that I said that, but I think <laughs> it looks like my youngest son more than it does me, so... He's the one who's excited because he thinks it's his. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, well, maybe we should ask your wife if it really looks like you. Yeah. She'd probably be a better one to ask. <laughs> it sure is going to be a big weekend, though. I, and the cold weather notwithstanding, everybody, I'm sure, is going to have fun with the Altoona Curve now and, and through the course of this season. Uh, Michael, your expectations uh, for, for this group, I'm sure, are different because, uh, as you said, you're more about player development than you are about wins or losses, but Getting the wins and losses and getting that Altoona fan base all charged up, that has to be a, a lot of fun as well. So all the job is to get these guys to the next level, but we want, you know, we're not, we don't go out every night not wanting to win. I mean, it's, we're trying to develop guys that know how to win so they, they can help Pittsburgh win a World Series, and you know, expectations haven't changed. I mean, my expectation is that we're going to repeat and, that's the way we're going to go about it every night. You know, that's what we're going to try to do. One or two players who uh, you are surprised that you have this year or who you think are really going to be breakout stars uh, for the Altoona Curve this year? By far, my, my position player is uh, our third baseman by the name of Brian Hayes. I don't know if you remember Charlie Hayes, the great third baseman that played so many years with the Yankees. This is his son. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. um, he's one of the best third basemen defensively that I've ever seen. I mean, the way that he can read hops, you know, he has a slow heartbeat, the inner clock is, he's just a baseball guy. He's been around the game his whole life. And, you know, he's going to be our third baseman of the future in Pittsburgh for a lot of years to come. And you know, a lot of people haven't heard of him yet, but I'm sure that you will this year, especially what he's going to do in Altoona. And then, on the pitching side, we have a guy out, coming out of the bullpen who is actually going to be our closer by the name of Jeff Hartley. Um, he throws about a 99-mile-an-hour sinker with a wipeout slider. Um, he's going to be a future major leaguer out of the bullpen. He'll be a big name that, you know, very yeah. comparable to the closers in the past, like a Joel Hanrahan that we had in Pittsburgh. So those are two names that you know, people should probably get on the radar and get ready to remember. Well, we'll look forward to watching all of the Altoona Curb members and you manage as well. Michael, we'll try to catch up with you a little bit later to the season, but thanks so much for spending some time with us this morning. I know you're getting ready for an opener tonight. I appreciate the time. Todd, it's always good talking to you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great week and a great day tonight. Yeah, you too. Thank you very much. Appreciate there, it. There's Michael Ryan, the Altoona Curb, getting set. Season opener happening tonight at PNC, PNG Field.